Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another little radio theme video. In this video I want to talk about a little bit more about SDR Connect, the new software that's just now starting to emerge from SDR Play. SDR Connect, they started talking about it about a year ago, late fall of 2022 and today is August 10th, 2023 and this morning they released a preview copy of SDR Connect and I downloaded it and I've been using it now for about three and a half maybe four hours and this video is just to give my personal and I want to repeat that personal opinions and feelings about it I am not trying to bash SDR play I am not trying to bash their software I am not trying to you know make anyone mad so please don't leave hateful comments and because it's just my opinion you know try the software for yourself so after about four hours i guess of using this software i have to say i am not feeling it i'm not excited about it i don't uh it don't thrill me to use it. It just, I and I don't know. I just, it's just, I can't really put my finger on all of it. It's just, it doesn't thrill me. It's, it's, it's not bad software, but it just doesn't thrill me. I much, much prefer SDR console and SDR Uno. You know, I like all the little, windows and sdr uno that you can move around and the features are easy to get to and adjust and and again i know this is a preview version and in the months coming there's going to be many updates as things get refined and the software evolves and as updates come along i will download them and try them but i just i just don't think i'm going to get excited about this software that might change you know, I, I sort of hope it does, but as of right now, after using it for three or four hours, I'm I just I'm not feeling it. I'm sorry, I'm not. But uh, I mean, it, you can see get receiving a lot of signals today. It's um, eighteen twenty six UTC, which is twelve, almost twelve, almost one thirty, should say, one thirty p.m. here in Southern Illinois. And uh, now there's my HVAC just started up. And so this is kind of a bad time for, for shortwave during the afternoon here. But again, back to what I'm saying, I, I'm trying not to ramble. But no, I'm just, I'm, I'm not feeling it as of right now. I'm not excited about it. SDR console to me is, is better. SDR Uno is better. And uh, let me close this out. And launch uh, SDR console here real quick. And let's just start that up and leave it muted. Now, one thing I do like about SDR console, you know, it's all your modes are here, are easy to get to. All your bandwidths are here, easy to get to, and you can create your own. I know you can drag the slider and SDR and all that stuff. That's fine. SDR Uno has a better noise reduction in my thing, my opinion, but I like this analog looking meter that you can select either analog meter like this or a digital meter. But what I do like in, in console is the long wave band, the medium wave band, and all the short wave bands from 120 meters all the way to 11 meters are framed. All you have to do is click on them. You know, six, there's 16 meters, there's 19 meters. And, you know, it, it's so simple. Plus, if you like to listen to ham radio, all your amateur HF bands are in there. Just click and it will take you there. You want to go back to where you was at. And there it is. It just, it just takes you right back there. And... You know, it's simple. And you can you can create one. I created the Citizens Band and the 8,000, 8 to 9 megahertz utility band and some of my local FM radio. But 
all your amateur VHF, broadcast, VHF, amateur HF bands. They're all pre-framed for you. Just point on it, click, and it takes you there, frames it up. You can see it's all framed up here. And I like that feature. I like a lot of the, the features, you know, the shading features where you can change the waterfall, shading, make it a little bit more better at night. There's just, there's things in here I just really like. And you can set up a lot of memories and you can do that in SDR Uno too. But just, I like the, some of the simplicity that SDR console has as far as framing all of the bands, not just some of them like SDR play keeps doing. I don't, and I don't understand that, but let me stop this and go to, uh, now let's launch SDR Uno. And again, I like SDR Uno a lot better than SDR Connect so far. You know, all these individual little windows, all the settings are easy to get to. It's all straightforward. I can set the memory. I can download the EIBI space and have it set to follow me. All this is easy to do. And, you know, you can save your workspace. Now, eventually, like I said, this may come later on in SDR Connect. I don't know. It may come later. But to me, this is all just very simple to use. I like the Spectrum and everything. And it's just, um, you know, if you want to set a notch, you can just come up here and press your Shift key. And you can just drop the line on where you want to notch something out. Uh, I just, I just prefer it all. But the thing I was talking about, like in the bands here when they do broadcast bands they they only go from 75 to 19 16 meters not in there 120 meters is not in there 11 meters is not in there the cb band's not in there uh, why well, you know why don't you put that in there yeah i never understood that but that's just a little nitpicking thing i guess you know if you know the frequency you can just tune it in and there it is but and I like having the entry where you can just tap the space bar, type in your frequency, and there you go. You know, it's it's right in there. And 17855 is radio exterior spawning. You can see that change. But again, I'm I'm rambling on a little bit and I don't want to make this too long, but I just I'm just not I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just not feeling the excitement of sdr connect and the giddiness and all of that and i hope that does change i really do but again i don't want to you know i'm not trying to discourage anybody from trying it if you have an sdr play device by all means go and download it start it up make sure when you install it you do restart your computer first give it give it a run you, you may really like it and then again, you may be like me, where you're just not feeling it. And but you know that's that's the nice thing about software and stuff like that. You know, at least with uh, SDR Play, what they have done right that I think is SDR Uno and SDR Connect are two separate programs. SDR Connect does not overwrite SDR Uno. So when you install SDR Connect, it's just it's two separate programs, so if you can either use SDR Connect or you can use SDR Uno, and it doesn't each one of them doesn't affect the other one. So, you know, it's not like you download SDR Connect and it overwrites Uno, and then you don't like it, and you think, "Oh crap!" Now I gotta go and try to uninstall this, reinstall SDR. You don't have to do any of that. So that's one good thing that I will give it to SDR play for doing that. They they have it as a separate program altogether. And I much I like that. Because if you don't like it, you just don't have to use it. You know, and your SDR play or your SDR Uno is left alone the way you have it. But yeah, if you have an SDR thing, it does not support um the first RSP one, I don't think. It does the one A, I believe, and then anything after the one A it, it will support. 
But uh, yeah, it, you know, give it a try if you have one, an SDR play unit. I don't know if it works with any other thing or not yet. I do not know. But if you have an SDR played device from a 1A later, go and download it. It's on the website. Uh, one of my other videos has the link there. Just go to Google, type in SDR play or, or SDR connect. It's the first link all the way at the bottom. And select Windows or whatever platform you're on. And give it a shot. And see what you think. I mean, uh, maybe your opinion will be different than mine. Or maybe it will be sort of the same. But uh, I, as again, I'm just not feeling SDR Connect. I'm not excited about it. But I will, I'm will. i going to continue to use it. Because I'm not going to abandon it yet. I've got to give it time to evolve and update. And see what I think I may change my mind later. But as of right now, no, I'm not excited about it. Don't I probably won't use it much. I'll use console and Uno. But anyway, thanks everyone for uh, tuning in and watching, listening to me ramble. And I, I appreciate everyone that watches my videos because I know I don't upload that much because I've got my shack and my system basically the way I've had it for years and nothing really changes out here in the country where I live. Uh, you know, I just, I don't change much and it's hard to find topics to do videos on, you know, unless something like this comes along. So I know a lot of you would like to see more content or maybe, I don't know, there's a lot of channels out there that has way better stuff than I do. But, you know, I just do this. I don't try to make money on YouTube and I don't ask for money and I don't do this and, and that because I know I'm not going to, it's not that big a deal. And, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just, if, if some, if you guys enjoy what I, you know, some of the content I make and stuff that that's satisfying to me. And, um, you know, I appreciate everyone that comes back and watches it, even though I don't upload on a regular basis. And, um, so I just want to thanks thank you guys for that. But anyway, yeah, just, just like I said, I'm not feeling SDR Connect, but if go and give it a shot if you have an SDR Play product, and you know, leave in the comments uh, if you liked it or you didn't like it or you're not sure yet how you feel about it. So until next time, take care, everyone, and uh, I will see you later. And happy listening. <laughs>